Should I even bother using mesh tiles? Because that's a lot of metal. Like, that is a ton of metal. If I replaced all of these, like, all of these with just, like, regular tile, maybe leave a couple gaps for mesh, I think that would make more sense. Because right now, there's a ton of metal we're using. <laughs> it Kaz. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's... Harvest back this copper ore and replace it with plastic tile, <laughs> which we could totally do. Um, can we do carpeted tile? Oh, wow. We could actually put a lot of carpeted tile down. Um, but yeah, just regular tile. Run that all over and just leave gaps for gas, mesh, whatever. Yeah. Plastic is for run speed, but they're not going to be down here managing this at all. This should be very hands-off uh, area. Down here, I could I could imagine we're probably going to want more mesh tile than anything. And we have lots of iron ore. Maybe we should go ahead and use some of that. Well, we end up taking that away from our steel. Copper ore. We already get some copper in here. Let's start, let's start set up some, uh, some place for batteries. The batteries themselves should probably be made out of steel because I'd imagine it probably is going to get pretty warm down here. And we're going to be just farming tons of steel. So, unless it melts, yeah. <laughs> I don't think the plastic floors melt though, do they? I mean, maybe eventually, sure, but... Uh, anyways, let's get, uh, let's get 21 of these I can put down. I don't need 21. Let's do... And then... Yeah, we could just do... Let me do this. Oops. We'll just put a couple of mesh tiles right underneath where the, the output drain is, which I think is these two tiles. We can afford to do a good chunk of these. And then we're, we'll get some of our money back from all the copper they're gonna be um, releasing from the existing airflow tiles. So we'll use some, then we'll lose some, and then gain some, whatever, so. Yeah. That's, that's I think that's a good happy, happy medium here. Just mesh tiles underneath where the leakers are gonna be. And then we'll get that, uh, there it goes, we got some back. 114. using so much metal for all this stuff. And we're going to get so much, we're going to get such a huge return. Once we get all this stuff set up, it's going to be such a massive return. Let me see. Power. Let's go and get some batteries down. Smart batteries, of course. Uh, just making out of steel. Oh God, do we really need steel? Hold on a second. Maybe I'm second guessing this here. Definitely not lead. I know that shit will go out of its way to melt down. Um, maybe we start with iron. Well, nah, fuck it. This is you steal. Let's stop hamming a hawn over this shit. Two, three, four. Maybe we should. Okay. Oh uh, no, we'll leave that side open. Actually, yeah. So. Wait. Nothing's mad. So one, two, three. Four, and then we'll do across this side as well. So we can just do. Okay. So row of them. Should we do this? Should we put gaps in between them so they could breathe a little bit better? We don't need any more than this. So I think I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do gaps. We have time. They're not even done. We're close to done setting this stuff up. So we'll do gaps. Uh, Okay, and then we can do the same thing down here. There. It basically uses all of our steel. <laughs> and it's gone. Got that return on that copper. Nice. Good. So we have holes everywhere, which is good. We're going to need two more here. Uh... Oh, this is gonna be... eh, please leave that alone there. Can they... oh no, we need one more. Oops. 
You use your lead for conductive wiring. Good place to dump it and it still has high enough melting. That's what I've been using, I think. I've been using um, lead, I think, for most of this stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, lead. So the heavy walk conductive wire. That's a really, it seems like that's the best place to put it, yeah. Stop. Mm. And then, and then we don't have to do anything for this one. Probably the one right here, just let it flow through, and that's it. Give it a second. Two airflow tiles for airflow because I've got a mod that makes mechanized airlocks. So you true airlock and anything pass between the two areas. Let's set the open. Oh wow. What I'll do it. Let's see, they can still reach that. Okay, cool. I, th I think this is good. And we could replace everything else with uh with just natural tile if we really wanted to. Or just a uh, regular tile and get all that metal back. This is gonna be we still have to have some mesh tile, even though we don't have anything to really drain here, so... I'm gonna make it out of, uh, we'll steal some of this iron, I guess. There we go. It's a little annoying that it's not directly lined up, but, eh, not really. I'll live. And then we'll fill the rest with just natural tile. Just regular, what do you call it natural tile, damn it? It's just a regular tile. Stock tile. Except over here, we have to leave that open a little bit. There we go. So we need wire for all this too. Damn, almost forgot. Lead. And we're gonna need to wire these things up for automation. Uh, how are you getting your dupes in their suits? I'm having such a hard time getting my dupes to not be assholes about it. Uh, you know what, you just set up a gate like this. You just have an ammo suit checkpoint and put everything before it and then they'll have to get a suit before they go through. That's it. As long as the suit's available in one of these docks, they'll use it. Uh, unless you have it set to, there's a setting, we get out of the way here. Uh, you have clearance, vacancy, so suited duplicates may only pass if there's an available dock to store their suit. Uh, if you disable this building, then they'll just walk right past it. So yeah, just a single point. Oh yeah, that, that's I guess that's the that's the key thing too. Of course, sorry, I should mention that first. Uh, just make sure there's no other way for them to get in and out. That's the only way they could get into this area, so they have to go through it. Let me see. Choose blueprint, fungal spore. Sure. So it looks like this is not really working out for some reason. I'm guessing they fixed it. It seems like they probably fixed it because. They're not, they're not bright, they're mad. So I'm guessing Brothgar, uh, Brothgar triggered a uh, response from Clay. That's unfortunate. You know, if we get enough in here though, we could, we could really just like, like, let me see, if I deconstruct this, technically it won't be a room, right? Oh wait, does this have to be inside of a grooming a, does this grooming section have to be inside of a let's see, must be a necessary component of the stable room, but maybe it'll still function if it's not. Anyways, yeah, we'll break we'll break a couple tiles to see if we can't you know create at least a little bit of a uh like a fake exit or whatever. Clever use of game mechanics things. Oh, I know. Yeah, you guys mentioned the critter sensor. In a room. Okay, not that one. I need like a critter motion sensor. A critter sensor is one thing, but that doesn't that's not gonna help me here. I need something that detects something moving into an area. This one just says if there's something is enough uh, if there's any number in a room. So that's why I was thinking. I was thinking to put a critter sensor down, but it only senses a uh, number of critters in a room. So that doesn't really help. Uh, I was thinking it would be nice if... <laughs> if I had a way to determine if a, if a, if a, uh, a bug was in an area, then I could... Can they not reach that? Yeah, they really can. Um, then it'll shut the door, you know, prevent them from getting out. The 
these dudes really don't want to do this. I don't think that's going to open up the room at all, though. <laughs> but still, like, there's got to be a way to... create more space without necessarily giving them more space, you know? God, look at how many hatchings we have here. Holy crap. How's this coming along? God, this place looks like a mess. <laughs> it looks terrible. <laughs> Jesus. Man. All these plugs on everything. Uh, make a room always open a door on the bottom, sensors in there. Well, wait, does the, does the door being open, does that trigger the... Oh, one just died. If a door is open, does that make them happy? Okay, thank you, guys. Oh, it is unreachable. Okay. And they can't reach that either. Okay, so that's out of the question then. They can break this one, though, but that'll give them too much space here. I'm gonna try this anyways, let's see. We might lose a couple, but... Uh, I'm hoping that... So now, let's see what happens. If they just start, like, just blowing up, then we, at least we know that is that is the answer here. Yeah, okay. So... Ah, water lock. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. I could do that. I could do that. This might be one of the situations where I'm willing to do that. I usually don't like to do water lock stuff, but honestly... Like... Nope, there they go! Already! Already trying to escape! I'm free! Watch them all, like, just pile out of there. Thank you for dropping the cemetery rock. Now please do the rest of the job. Also, yeah, this... Oh, you know what? The grooming station doesn't work. You know what? Fuck this room. <laughs> Letting that one free really helped, though. What is the What is the power output now? 16 watts, 40 watts, 28 watts, 30 watts. Eh, we're getting something out of it. it. Gives them something to do while they're in there. Meanwhile, we're gonna need some automation ribbon, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Donut. Oh my gosh. Donut. Shush. Shush. And then run that up here. I think, we, I think we only need one. Like, we don't need a ton, I don't think. It's just basically to trigger the these, and then eventually maybe we'll have to bridge things from other areas of the base and go through here or something, but just to have the one bridge, one ribbon is probably good to start. So, uh, we will run these. Should we just staged? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need something staged, yeah. Oh, man. This is gonna be a two-day project. Uh, you can have an open door if you want the grooming station to work. Yes, but I still won't, but see, that doesn't solve the problem of having these guys in the, um, uh, in, in a room, technically, you know? So, like, I can't do a water lock. You need a mesh tile under the leftmost bed. Oh, thanks, dude. Oh, under this one here? What is this? Why is this thing taking overloading? Conductive wire. Oh, what? Is there is there a conductive wire underneath this thing? Oh, right, gotcha. You are correct, sir. Thank you. There must be a There is there's conductive wire underneath there. I'll be damned. Is there one under here? No, okay. This whole time? Just frying that wire there, just hidden underneath. Okay, so automation. Let's go ahead and set up the, the very least we'll get the uh, wiring going for this. And then bring that over. We'll figure out how we're going to attach that and do all that because we can't really have the attachments to the same area. Oh, you know what? Since we can't do that, we might as well go and make that adjustment now. Top and bottom. I just have it to do it like this, you know, where it's connected similar to like pipes and everything, but it's fine. Um, and these will do the same thing. So, go straight over. And then same thing with these guys. We'll go 
up and over. Hmm. Oh, these will just go up. And then all of these obviously have to be connected as well. Or they just won't work. And then these guys will go up. So close, so close. Don't, don't, uh... Okay, good. And then we'll attach everything. Uh, right now, it, what's nice about this is is we, we don't necessarily have to build out staging or anything yet. We could just have everything connected and talking to each other um, in the most basic possible way, you know? And then later we could go and try to add some more staging. You know, if uh, if if we're out of this material, then we'll get this. Speaking of, actually, oh, never mind. Um, yeah, our... our Okay, everything's running fine. I was, I was like, wait a minute, we, I didn't check on natural gas in a while. So we're good there. This is going, okay, swimmingly. Tons, wow, we're actually getting full of petroleum because we're not making uh, plastic anymore. Oops. Still need power, still need all kinds of stuff. What time is it? Oh man, okay. Let, yeah. Okay, so let's see, Ribbon Rider, um, so Ribbon Rider for here, 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 that takes care of those four, and there's gonna be readers for these other ones, so Ribbon Reader, ah, damn it, Reader, Oh, did I get that? Did I get the wire those wrong? Oh, I did. Shit. Damn. I'm fucking us up, guys. Sorry. Oh, shell backwards. Let's see, I'm like, I'm like, look at the time. It's like, I gotta get out of here. And it's like, no, let's just try to finish this up as best we can. Uh, also, fuck this up too. <clears throat> did I put them all backwards? Jesus Christ, I did. Man, what is wrong with me? <sighs> Give it a second. This is why I watched. <laughs> You mess up. Okay, so uh, <laughs> readers, uh, yeah. Okay, fix that. Fix, fix, fix. Good, good, good. Everything looks good. It's just gonna take a while to finish all the damn wiring. There's still so much wiring down here. They're all eights and nines and everything. Or eights, rather. Let's make them nines. Woof, man. <clears throat> um, so yeah, the, once the readers and writers are done, then we're gonna go and dedicate them to certain channels, and like, they'll all be on like one channel, pretty much, for the most part, right, right now, so, um, yeah. And then it's just a matter of just hooking everything up and going. But this is this is still, you know, probably another hour away from being done. And, and you know, unfortunately, uh, what are those things? Oh, those are uh, that's the advanced automation stuff. So basically, the way it works is you have a okay. Let's do this. Uh, so you have a instead of having just an individual wire, now you also have an automation ribbon. So you can have up to four, uh, four lines going. They're independently address in independently addressable. Um, Read, read and write, you can have basically like a highway worth of uh, automation going down one single channel, which is really nice. And so you have these readers and writers, like I can just, you know, like he's installing right now, and then you click on them and say, okay, I want, I want all of these to read bit one, right? They're all default to one. And then maybe if you have something else that's monitoring something else in the room, you know, uh, you can have that on channel two or channel three. Uh, so it, it may seem, complicated at first but it's like actually pretty cake once you once you sit down and take a look at it start plugging things in oh shit 
We have a crossover problem here. We will... Then we'll also get rid of this bridge here. Let's do that stat. Good. Then what we'll do is we'll put a bridge... Put this here. Donut's going nuts. What's he doing? Donut, shut up. <laughs> you gonna give me trouble, dog? Let me see. This is gas going in, so this goes down. And this is going uh, out, so... Oh, wait, that's exhaust out. So that does need to connect to that. Okay, so it does need to connect, and actually we could connect them all together. It's the middle. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe it was okay before. There. No, it wasn't okay before, right? I don't even know. It wasn't done, that's for sure. So is that right, though? Let's see. Out there. This goes out here, in there. Uh, this is coming out there, in, out, in, out. Okay. And then... This is, okay, so this is correct. Okay, okay, so maybe it was right. I don't know. <clears throat> Finish it! Hurry up! Finish all this shit. <laughs> Try and get his power done before we have to get out of here. <laughs> we weren't, we're not gonna plug everything in yet, though. Uh, we're just going to get everything up and running, and then we'll just let it... Uh, with the batteries charge and do all that stuff, but at the very least we'll have it done. Look at that, all of a sudden they're working. <laughs> oh man, it's so close to being done though. We'd have to run a couple more pieces of ducting here. Let's see, hydrogen, the hydrogen output over here. We don't really have a good source of hydrogen anywhere, but we have, you know, natural gas is right here to show them, so we can bring that down. At least get those started. But we're not going to do that yet. No, we'll leave that alone. That is definitely a tomorrow me thing. So while they work their asses off here. Um, let me see. Printables available. Let's go and grab a pip egg. Let's check on our... Uh, it's working. What do we got? 21 watts. This whole, the whole project was just a mess. <laughs> but it was a fun side project. Um, all right, so... Next time on, <laughs> next time on Oxygen Not Included Adventures, uh, we're gonna go through, we're gonna get everything hooked up in here. I would like to get, notice that the water level is really, really low. So I feel, I strongly feel like we're gonna be able to get that. Let's go and lock the door actually before, before somebody messes it up and goes inside. Um, yeah, I, I strongly feel that we're going to be getting to the point to where we can just uh, plug everything in and just be done. As a matter of fact, they're basically done here. Wow. Um, and, yeah, while well, the batteries are charging. Yeah, Mike makes a bomb. Yeah, for reals. What's the temperature in here right now? Temperature in here is 120 degrees. So it's warm. We might have some problems initially with like some of the, some some uh, some of the materials on some of these just falling apart under the you know, the pressure of all the heat and everything. But I think that why is this sandstone? Why are we not doing it? Bug. Sandstone, cemetery rocks, sandstone, granite. Oh, there's no sandstone. There we go. Granite. How is there no sandstone? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Get, get over there and do that. I like that later. That's later. That's later. But this is beautiful though. Yeah, so the next thing we could do is now that we have that redundancy, we could go through and and actually start channeling all this stuff or moving all this stuff down uh deleting up just basically everything up here really we could get rid of everything except for the sieve uh we have a couple of uh we have a couple of pretty complex battery things that we don't necessarily need i don't think but these are ready to go we got plenty of backup power there it's looking good man it's looking good i'm liking this i'm liking this a lot 